Yeah, isn't that nice? Little cuckoo birds are uh, taking a bath in the horse's water. Don't poop in there. Okay, you can bathe, but don't poop. All right, so we got some balloons. He's okay with them now. A little tarp. He's a little nervous, but not too bad. So this is the first time I'm riding him out. I've hand walked him down here just once. Go boy. Good job, bud. So he's a little nervous. He's not doing anything bad. He's just um, short striding. So when your horse starts short striding, they're usually nervous or anxious. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So he just took a deep breath. That's a good job. Let it all go. Okay. These horses made it back. Or did they? <laughs> Good job. Oh, we're gonna let them look for a minute. Uh, there's guinea hens over there. They can be scary if they start making their wacky noises. Good job, bud. Okay. So he did good with the truck. You're okay. Oh, good job. Good job. At least he's nervous. Oh boy, you're okay. All right. So he's nervous but willing to go. And you see, I always say, oh, this scares them. It scares all of them. So they all kind of look up there, or get a little jumpy if there's a turkey or something up there. If you're like, why? Well, because it's shady and they can't tell if that turkey's a mountain lion or what. So it's best to, you know, be on edge and run first, look later. That's the horse's motto. Oh, there's a truck coming again. Good job. It's okay. Hi! <laughs> so he got nervous, so I just spun him so he couldn't plant his back feet. Because again, what, if they're cornered like that and they you have nowhere to go, you know, and they're scared, well, sometimes they'll rear up because they want to move their feet. So. Um, so you're trying to make it that they don't do anything bad and kind of help them out. But... That was a lot for his first ride out here to have a trailer and then the quad go by. That's a lot. You just gotta know that. Good job. So unless this, I know this horse hasn't been ridden on the trail in a long, long time. So it's different if he was going out every day, right? But he's not. So even if they're the best trail horses, that when they first start going out, they can be pretty bad. You gotta know that. But and they get better if you do it right, and it's a good horse. Oh, bull. Good 
So he's still anxious. He's putting his head down a little bit, but this is not how he's supposed to be uh, moving. So he's not gating correctly just because he's scared. And he's crooked because he doesn't know what to do with his body to make him feel comfortable. Hi! I'm good. How are you? Keep going, buddy. She's on the phone. <laughs> But that was good that he tried to stop. Easy. Good boy. All right. But at least he's trying to stop and look at things. So I'm going to stop again. Good boy. Because he's too fast, right? So now we're up by the bee boxes. You're okay. You're okay. So here's bee. He's doing like a little step pace. But you can't you can't work on their gait. But you get their brain. So I'm not worried about that at all. I'm just worried about keeping them comfortable. Oh, you want to work? It's all right. He wants the bees. It's okay. Like, holy shit, there's bees. Good oh boy. <laughs> it's hard. You're trying to get out of their way. Make sure the horse doesn't kick the truck which I'm sure they're afraid of. Easy, buddy. That's... So you're not afraid of sign. He's just scared, so he thinks he's supposed to go. That's not his fault. Good job. You're all right. I got you. So to me, this doesn't feel like a real goey horse. He's not dragging me. I could drop the reins and he'd go faster, but not super fast. So to me, it just feels like he doesn't have any confidence or know what he's doing. Here comes the motorcycle. Slow it down. Not the motorcycle, just you. So see, that was pretty darn good. So now we're going to take a break and hang up here for a while. Whoa. Down here at the road, we've had several motorcycles pass by. He is scared, but he doesn't do anything bad. He was petrified of this. I should have turned the camera on, but I didn't. So now I got him over to the garbage can. So now I'm putting... He likes food, so why not use it to our advantage, right? So now he's all over the garbage can, right? Except if I open it, then that scares him a little bit. See? Good job. Good oh boy. But the fact he smelled it while it was open was a good thing. There's FedEx truck. Good job. So, I like to just hang out here. You know, he's petrified. That's normal. And just let him get used to this stuff in the beginning, right? But he might see a garbage can with its lid flipped open. So, I'm going to flip it open. It smells like crap, right? Oh, like Judy. <laughs> She's like, that smells like my friend. There you go. So hopefully the neighbors won't come up and see us smelling their trash can. Okay. But you're going to see trash cans. You're going to see them closed. You're going to see them open. You know, they're going to move. They're like Sage, who ran into it yesterday. You might run into it, so... But see, now he's more interested in the trash can than the traffic, which he was just scared of before. So he wants to investigate. He's just scared. He's like a baby in an adult's body just because nobody's done anything, right? You're okay. Okay, let's tip it over because it might tip over. So the idea is not to scare the heck out of him 
and do too much too fast. That's why I'm doing it slow, right? Here it is. And if you have good timing and good sense, you'll know how far you can push it and how far you shouldn't push it for the first day. Because some people push it too far and some people don't push it enough. Here it is. Pathetically, he's like, why is that lady playing with the trash can? Every time I see that lady, she's doing weird stuff. Good boy! Good job! Good job! So now I'm going to put the top on, too. You ready? Okay, it's going to slam. You ready? So I'm not slamming hard, just a little. Good job! Good job, buddy! So he did great for his first trash can because he was petrified of it before. Right? And that was about five minutes ago. Now he thinks the trash can has food. Okay. What else? So I, I like to just walk around, wander. He can eat different grass, look at different things, and just get used to being up here by himself away from the barn. Do you want any of this stuff? I'm sure it doesn't taste very good. Um, and being comfortable. Sometimes they're just running circles around here in the beginning. But again, it's all it's all normal. If the horse is not used to it, you just got to be careful with your body because um, sometimes they'll want to run over the top of you. Okay, so I hear a vehicle coming, right? Horse most likely wants to run back to the barn, which means he would turn around and run that way. So you're trying to stay out of the way when you're doing stuff like this, right? He's like that. Which way is the barn? Which, which way should I run? Good job! Good job! To see him get scared, but he just got scared in place. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to wander by the trash can. He's like, I like the trash can there. Okay, so let's walk. He's still a little iffy with it. So let's walk by the trash can a couple of times without you walking on top of me. So I always turn towards the object and I try to keep them somewhat behind me so they actually see it. If, if they're on top of you, they'll just hide behind you and then they don't actually see it. You see the horses, huh? You can't get over there. Those are spoiled horses. They have a nice big pasture. <laughs> So uh, this way, the next time I see a trash can, he won't be afraid of it because I've actually worked on it. He's like a minute ago it had cookies. Where are the cookies? <laughs> Why are you afraid of the car? I didn't see. Maybe the car did something weird. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't like that model, that year. We're not sure. Could be anything. He's like, I, just, I like the trash can. I don't like the car. But it still wasn't bad. It's just like a baby maneuver. Okay, so we're going to go up to the for sale sign too. Good job. Okay, so I'm bored with the trash can for now. So you're trying to show them everything you can. when they haven't been out on trail for a while and to see what they're willing to go up and see so you know ahead of time what they're afraid of. You don't want to do this when you're in a big group ride. This is things you have to work on by yourself or just with one friend who has a nice horse and they're willing to help you. So 30 acres are for sale if anybody wants it. Mm -hmm. He's a very curious horse. You can touch it. That's me making noise, scaring him. So he's looking at the sign. You might not think he's looking at it. I don't know where my camera's facing, but he is looking at it. They just turn their head side to side. Now he is running away from it. Now he's trying to get behind me. Good job. So close. Good boy. Good job. 
You dropped it, and then there's snakes. Scare me. Now we've been down here a while. He's doing better. We've now gone up to the mailboxes, all that stuff, and now he's good. So now I'm just seeing if I'll just hang down here for a minute. Um, lots of motorcycles have gone by. He's getting better. He's getting more focused on the food than the things that are going on around him. And that's what we're trying to do. Oh, I got some good stuff. No, we gotta wait till something comes. So let's wait till something comes. The grass isn't so good. Hmm. It's always a good sign when they're getting obnoxious for the food, right? Oh, here's something coming. So again, if you're doing this, you know, let them see it from the front, let them see it from the back, let them see it from the side, because cars are gonna come all around you. Ooh, it's cow fire. And they're probably like, is that lady okay? So again, he moved, but it's much better than last time. And he's getting more settled. He's actually focusing on things and, uh, right? Relaxing instead of being in a panic. Good job. What's coming now? So again, if your horse is good with this stuff, either, you know, you might have had a very calm temperament or somebody sat there and did this with them and you didn't know it. So thank God they did that for you, right? Because it's a lot of work. Something's coming, I can hear it. So this is just anxiousness, like I don't want to stand here anymore. So he jumped a tiny bit because it was coming behind him, but that was it. That was awesome. Okay, I'm going to stay a little longer and then go back down the road. Okay, so this is going back. He's very antsy. Mm -hmm. You're, you're okay. So at least he just jumps in place usually. And who knows if he's ever been ridden by himself either. He's not pulling hard, he's just bunched up and step pacing. But he did get better at the roads. 